virus here in Massachusetts. We know the patient is a woman in her 20s from Norfolk County who recently traveled to Italy. It's being called a presumptive case until the CDC can confirm the results. We know that the patient is now at home recovering. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. And I'm Paula Eben. Despite the new case, officials maintain the risk to the public remains low. Julie McDonald joins us now with more on this breaking story. Julie? Well, Paula and David, nearly 7 million people live in Massachusetts. Two have tested positive for coronavirus. As we learn more about this second patient, experts stress the risk here remains low. On the same day state leaders presented their preparedness plan against the coronavirus, a second confirmed case in Massachusetts. The Norfolk County woman in her 20s recently traveled to Italy with a school group. She's now recovering at home. The first confirmed patient, a UMass Boston student who traveled from China, is also recovering well. Across the state, the risk remains low. Everyone is encouraged to take simple precautions. Please remember to wash your hands often with warm soap and water, cover your mouth if you cough or sneeze, and stay home when you're feeling sick. Still, many in Boston admit it's all people are talking about. We just left the office, we wiped down our phones, just because like all the germs from the commuter rail, people coughing on you. Everyone's like using Clorox and wiping down all their like stuff that they're using because everyone's touching everything. So hygiene's pretty important right now. At Watch City Pharmacy in Waltham, this sign by the door answers the question employees now hear all day long. They've seen a significant increase in customers and phone calls asking for medical masks and hand sanitizer. We're sold out within the first few customers because they grabbed everything. The store restocked while they could, but now no luck. This is our uh, ordering website, and as you can see, like all the Purells, all the hand sanitizers are gone. And like there's no release dates or one's gonna become more available. The Department of Public Health launched a website that will be updated weekly with the latest facts about coronavirus and any additional cases in our region. We have a link on our website, cbsboston.com. Paula and David. Julie McDonald, thank you.